Hi all, welcome at the tutorial on Big Bang. Uh, this tutorial is going to consist of three parts. First, I'll tell you a bit about mailing lists, then I'll tell you a bit about Big Bang, and thirdly, I'm going to show you how to install and use Big Bang. So firstly, what is a mailing list? A mailing list is a way to be in conversation with a group of people by using asynchronous technology that works on low bandwidth internet connections. It's used by software projects as well as internet governance uh, institutions and email lists can be used on virtually all platforms. One function of mailing lists is that archives are being kept. And these are not just archives for archive's sake, but also documents to, uh, uh, to document decision making. Because of the importance of software and internet infrastructure, these documents could be seen as public policy documents and analyzed as such. Mailing lists have been used since the late 1960s. And there are two main software packages that administer mailing lists, Mailman and Listserv. These are the ones that can be analyzed using Big Bang, plus a couple of custom ones, such as the, the one of the W3C. There are also other mailing lists, such as those hosted on Google Groups, but these are not supported by Big Bang, in part because Google makes it very hard to access them. So for the second part, what can Big Bang do with mailing lists? Big Bang can do many things, but it has four basic functionalities. Data collection, basic statistics, network analysis, and discourse analysis. So the data collection is pretty straightforward. It allows you to capture emails from email lists, both single lists or groups of lists, and store them on your device for analysis. And in terms of analysis, when we do statistics, it's for counting people that post to our mailing list over time. This can be per day or per month or per hour. It's counting people's tenures so for how long they've been engaged. Uh, counting uh, uh, the amount of emails in total or sent per day or another time slot to the list and counting threats and finding the longest thread of email conversations, for instance, to find out where there is most contestation. Secondly, there is network analysis that can help you find affiliations of actors and how they act in concert with each other to find centrality of actors, how network form within a list and between lists and to explore modularity and fragmentation in communities. Thirdly, Big Bang allows for discourse analysis to find word trends over time, keyword occurrence, most used per person or per all users, special word analysis, find out in which email a certain word was first used and by who, and more of these functionalities. So now let's get over to install Big Bang. Installing Big Bang is very easy on Mac or Linux. So that if you run Mac or Windows or Linux, you can also always opt to run, for instance, Ubuntu in a virtual machine or run a live USB or a persistent live USB. And this is a safe way to experiment and not met up, mess up your production environment. But if you're comfortable and you're on Mac or Ubuntu, you can follow the installation instructions that are on the uh, Big Bang website that you can find at github.com slash data active slash Big Bang. If you're on Windows, you'll have to run, uh, either you need to find it out yourself how to make it work, or you can run a virtual machine or use a live CD. When we go install, uh, we need to uh, first install the installation environment for which we choose Anaconda that you can download here from the Anaconda website. Where you say download, you go to the version for Python 3 and you download the installer. Conveniently, I have already downloaded the installer. So we go to the uh, place where the installer is downloaded, in this case in the, uh, in the downloads folder. There we make the installer executable and then we run the installer. We agree with the license terms and we say where we want to install Anaconda 3, which in my case is in my data directory. And here we go. 
And now Anaconda will be uh, uh, unpacking, after which we will uh, initialize Anaconda. And then very importantly, we need to set the path of Anaconda. So if we give a command, then the terminal will know it uh, can execute the com uh, Anaconda command without giving the full path to the Anaconda binary directory. When we're done with that, we will install pip, the package manager for uh, Python packages, and install git, which is the version control software uh, that we use to maintain uh, Big Bang, which, which you can easily download Big Bang, but also then download future updates of the software. So you can always stay up to date and in contact with the developers. You can always stay in contact with, if you have questions on the installation on usage, through the uh, uh, Big Bang mailing lists. There is a chat room, uh, there's a development mailing list, but there's also a user mailing list to which you can always send your questions and comments and the community will be very happy to, uh, to help you out. In the meantime, the uh, uh, Anaconda is still installing, but that shouldn't be taking too, too much more time now. And when, uh, uh, yeah, this is great progress. It's extracting the packages that, uh, uh, that are needed. And as you know, software is often dependent on a lot of other packages. And Anaconda is the virtual environment that keeps track of which versions of files you're using so that uh, uh, everything keeps working together. And as you see, these are quite some uh, packages that are needed to set the, uh, uh, set the environment, but we will be installing more packages that are needed to uh, install Big Bang specifically. Now we're going to initialize uh, Anaconda 3. Yes, excellent. So now we're going to set the path. We're going to do it by saying export path is, and then uh, the home directory the data credit directory and there we have set the path so now we can continue with the installation of Pip, very important that we choose Python 3. There we go. It is already installed on this system. Then we go install Git. Excellent. Also installed here. And so now we'll go and download data and here we go clone big bang excellent so now we go cd big bang just as is here in the installation uh, uh, description and then we type bash conda setup sh and now we'll actually install the uh, 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 big bang and here it's solving the environment and installing the needed packages to uh, that are connected and needed to run Big Bang. And 
And we are now very close to uh, finalizing the installation of Big Bang. I'll have one more uh, command to finalize the usage, which is Python 3 setup.py develop dash dash user. Excellent. So to activate this environment, we need to type this, but we'll get back to there. Installing a couple of more packages through pip. And as we see, successfully installed Big Bang, excellent. And now we're pasting in the final command. Beautiful. So we finished processing dependencies for Big Bang. So now we are done with the installation. Before we go over to the usage, we will first need to have some data to analyze. So if you don't already have an uh, uh, email list that you like, you can look here in the examples and the URL collections. There is a whole description of different lists that you can use. And I will look here in the archive of the IETF. There is one email list I'm interested in, namely that of HRPC, the Human Rights Protocol Considerations Research Group. But you can also download a whole file of lists at the same time, but because of time, we'll just download one and do some analysis on it. So we'll do Python 3 bin collect mail.py, so Python script, minus u, so we'll do one list and uh, take the uh, URL that we just got from that uh, example file. And press enter, and here we see that the uh, uh, that the mailing lists for the Human Rights Protocol Considerations Research Group are now being retrieved from uh, October 2014 onwards. So it's taking it per month and the files are being stored in the archives directory within the Big Bang directory. And there you can uh, uh, look at these files that, you, that are saved in clear text but uh, and you can also grab them and do searching uh, searches on them there, uh, which can be faster than simply looking through uh, mailing list interfaces. And a CSV will be created through which we can do uh, uh, subsequent analysis. So if you're going to uh, analyze a mailing list or a bunch of mailing lists, it's nice if you download them at once and keep them on one drive or in one place. So you don't need to download them on all, uh, uh, all at the same time. Also, if you're going to analyze mailing lists with a group, it might help if you share the mailing list offline or set them on a separate server. So you don't put too much load on a third parties uh, email server because that might cause you to be blocked and then you can't get new email anymore. As once we uh, uh, once all the uh, uh, email has been collected, we will go and run some simple analysis on this. And analysis is what we do through notebooks. And we chose to do this because that makes the uh, uh, methodology very insightful. It can be used for education and you can easily develop your own notebooks and contribute to Big Bang yourself if you've done some uh, uh, interesting analysis. So here you see the uh, everything has been downloaded. The archive files have been opened. You can find now here in archive 
you can find hrpc data these are all the mail files so for instance we can uh, um, look for uh, the files where it says uh, politics and here you see all the different files and the sentences in which politics uh, have been mentioned but of course this is not done through big bang this is simply done by using grab on the command line and then here you see also the csv file but now we go out of the archive and we activate the big bang environment that we created with uh, anaconda and then we do source uh, then we do ipython notebook examples and here you see the uh, the notebooks that we have access to and here we'll do some word analysis or check some uh, words over time and so we'll run the different blocks first block second block no problem excellent will work in pandas but here we see that uh, this one is still set for the uh, an analysis of the mailing list http uh, bis a but we want to analyze hrpc because that's what we just downloaded excellent so now uh, uh, it has be uh, it has down it has um, uh, uh, it has ingested the, the files, so now I need to say what kind of words I want to check. So I want to check for uh, rights, middle box, standard, economic. Yeah, these are uh, things I'm interested in. Well, maybe also privacy. Speech and expression. That's a lot of different words. So now let's analyze that. That works. We won't stem them. So here we see again, as what we saw before, that the uh, uh, oldest is from 2014, the last is from 2021. So now we say, from when do we want it? Well, we want it from. 2014, 10, 25, up to 2021, 3rd of March. That's fine. Excellent. Cleaning up the data, checking for the check words. done and here it is saving it to csv files so that we can also uh, use it in our own visualization software if we want so it, we have clean csvs that are stored in the uh, in the path of the of the notebook which is in examples in the uh, in the big bang directory that we've just installed And of course, it's also good for doing some qualitative analysis, so we have more context to where and how these uh, uh, words are used. Excellent. It has been done. And here we have the overview of the different words and how they are used. So this is a simple example of how, uh, uh, how notebooks are used, but also how you can use other notebooks and explore all the, uh, all the notebooks that are available in Big Bang. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime through the mailing list. Also, if you have new research questions, 
or uh, if you just like to reach out and say what you like or dislike about the project. Thanks so much, and uh, we hope to see you on the list, and we're looking forward to see your research. Bye.